it's time to explore the untapped potential of After Effects and create some of the coolest 3D logos. Simply, we're gonna be able to take any graphic and turn it into a 3D stroke. So let's get started and unleash the power of After Effects. All right, dramatic intros aside, I did a stroke logo animation tutorial over a year ago using traditional methods of duplicating a 2D layer like a million times uh, to make it look 3D. Now today, everything is done within one layer and this will work for titles as well. We have our logo here and you should hopefully have a vector version of your logo, but if you don't, hold tight. You can right click your logo layer, go to create and select create shapes from vector layer. Boom, turns your logo into a shape layer. If you just have a PNG, select your logo, go to layer, auto trace, then create a shape layer and add a path for every mask that was created. Then you can copy and paste each mask path into the shape layers path. Then add a stroke and then place everything inside of a single group. Speaking of your stroke, you can set your stroke width here at the top and I'm using 12. Be sure that fill is turned off. Now make this layer 3D and like most of my videos these days, be sure to use advanced 3D. If you don't have this option, it's time to update the old AE. We can then go into the extrusion depth and increase this amount. Boom, 3D logo time. Now, before we do any customization, create a solid layer and it can be any color, but for this tutorial, I'm going to make it black. Make it 3D and copy that extrusion depth and paste it into the Z position of what is now your floor. Now we can create an Aria Alexa camera with a 50 millimeter preset. Hold up, I just heard that's on our budget. So we'll just go ahead and create a regular camera layer. And using the camera tools here at the top, we can reposition our view so we can see this from a 3D perspective. Okay, to animate our logo, we'll add the trim pass property inside of the shape layer. Then animate the end or start from zero to 100%, or you can set it to 90% and animate the offset. This way you'll have this continual animation of your stroke that could go on forever. I would also take this time to go inside of the stroke and set the line cap to a round cap to smooth out the edges. All right, we're all set up for success and now we need to stylize everything so we can make mom proud. But first, never animate anything again by using our free animation presets. You can select any type of graphic, title, or logo, browser preset, and watch your project come to life in seconds. You can utilize over 10,000 presets by checking the description below. Okay, let's make magic happen. Go to the material options of your floor layer, set the specular intensity and shininess to 100% and the metal to 0%. Essentially, we're creating a reflective floor. If needed, be sure to scale up your floor. Now go and create a new environment light and check cast shadows. Go to your logo material options, make sure cast shadows is set to on and we'll start stylizing our logo by setting the specular intensity to 100 and the shininess to near 100%. I will also increase the diffuse to brighten up the logo, but that's probably not needed. We can also customize our logo further by setting the bevel style to something you know here and increasing the depth. Just mess around with this or just keep it at none. I would also adjust the rotation of the environment light to get a different look. All right, now let's bring in the camera and blow things up. I mean, set creative angles. And after this step, you don't wanna miss out on the depth of field either, so hold tight. To create a multi-cam scene, trim your camera's layer up and then use the camera tools at the top to set your first angle. So I push in really close here and I want the camera to rotate around the logo. To do this, create a null object, make it a 3D layer, parent your camera to said null object, then you can animate the Z rotation of the null to have the camera rotate around the logo. Pretty cool. Now we can create a new camera, trim up the layer, use the camera tools to essentially capture another angle. You can animate the camera by adding a keyframe for point of interest and position. Then you can move your camera with the tools at the top. I'll also use the null object rotation method to continue the spin as well. For one last angle, I'll just use the final camera to essentially zoom out of the scene. Do what you wish and there's no wrong answers here. Unless the logo is not in any of the shots, then you really messed up. Also, if you want to make your logo gold, you can change the color to a light orangey yellow. All right, the last thing we need is a depth of field blur. This is just too sharp. So pre-compose everything, name it to the year that you were born. But most importantly, apply the 3D channel extract effect. From here, we want to adjust the white and black points to make sure the top part of the composition is white and the bottom half is black. Then duplicate this layer, delete the effect, and create an adjustment layer. 
Now we're able to apply the camera lens blur effect from Blur and Sharpen. Set the blur map to the bottom layer and set effects and mask. Now, increase the blur radius to your heart's content. And feel free to add the depth of field effect to the bottom layer to increase the maximum radius. This will smooth our depth map and create a beautiful scene. You may also want to keyframe the blur radius so the last angle is all in focus. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.